Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pumbingileli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video guys, we'll be answering two questions from the friction and static electricity topic. These are questions that um, you find in the worksheet B that we are selling. Worksheet B consists of topic tests um, for term 3 and term 4 content. So if you have not purchased it already, uh, please find um, a link to purchase the worksheet in my bio. Um, I will also include it in the description box and also a WhatsApp number. So if you want to buy via WhatsApp, you can send me a WhatsApp and indicate that um, you would like to purchase the worksheet. So it's a grade eight worksheet. Um, there's also a grade nine natural sciences worksheet. So let's not waste time. Let us answer this question. So you are having two charged balloons. So you're having two balloons. There's balloon one and balloon two. And both these balloons are charged um, and they are hanging from a ceiling by a light thread. Balloon one is positively charged. So they are giving us information about balloon one, that it is positively charged. And they tell us that these balloons attract each other. This is very important information right because it gives us an idea of the charge of balloon two so they attract each other and they tell us that balloon two's charge is unknown so they've only given you the charge for balloon one and they've given you the information that these two balloons attract each other so let's look at the first question 411 what charge does balloon two have and give a reason for your answer so this is two marks it's a two marks question um, it's basically a two-part question, rather. It's two marks allocated um, for this two-part question. So make sure that you do not end up only answering one part of the question. You need to answer both. So the first part is asking us about the charge um, for balloon two. Now, already if we're having the information about um, balloon one being positively charged and that these two balloons attract each other, it is obviously giving us information that balloon two is definitely not a positively charged balloon because um, since they attract each other that means there is an opposite charge so it's either negative or neutral so balloon two is either negative or neutral then they ask us to give a reason and the reason is that objects with opposite charges are going to do what to attract each other so objects with opposite charges, what do they do? They attract each other. So how would this be marked? Let me show you quickly. I will use, I'll use this blue. So for the first part, you've answered the charge. The second part, you've given the reason. So it's one mark each. All right, then 412, did balloon one lose or gain electrons? It was positively charged. Um, they attracted each other. So definitely balloon one lost electrons. Okay, then one mark. Then 413, 413, after a while, the balloons repel each other. Give a reason for this. Guys, during contact, the electrons are going to be shared between the balloons, right? So they will then end up gaining the same charge. And because they have, um, both of them have the same charge, they are going to repel. So the answer for one mark here will be because both balloons, um, both balloons have the same um, charge or type of charge okay so that will be one mark all right remember guys if you have not bought the worksheet uh, click the link in my bio or the description box to buy there's also a whatsapp number that you can use to send me a message and buy the worksheet so there's grade 8 and also grade 9 worksheet let's look at the second question so Easy piece of stuff. Complete the following sentences using the correct words that you are given from the text box. So you have electrons, friction, negative, static electricity, positive, and attract. 
So let's look at A. When two objects are rubbed together, M causes charges to build up on their surfaces. So friction cause or friction causes charges to build up um, on their surfaces. Then rubbing a balloon on your hair transfers electrons. This is a T. So we've used friction. We've used electrons. Transfers electrons from one material to another. C, the object that gains extra electrons has a negative charge. The object that loses electrons has a positive charge. Objects with opposite charges are going to attract each other. Okay, then the buildup of charges on a surface without movement is called what? Static electricity. Done. There's more questions uh, in this booklet, guys. So if you purchase the booklet, you'll obviously get um, a lot more questions. And thank you so much to everyone that has bought the worksheet and for all the positive feedback we really 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 appreciate it please kindly like this video guys share the link with your classmates and your schoolmates and also please comment down below also if you have not subscribed please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel all the best